Champions. Welcome to a wonderful Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. We're going to continue with main idea, looking for repeated words, um, looking at the first and last sentences, and titles and pictures. Here we go. Snowflakes. No two snowflakes are exactly alike. Snowflakes form in clouds and their different journeys to the ground affect their shape and size, giving each snowflake its own unique identity. Very cold clouds contain water droplets and ice crystals. As water droplets attach themselves to ice crystals, they freeze, creating an even larger ice crystal. When this happens, water molecules line up and form a six-sided shape called a hexagon. This is why all snowflakes are six-sided. The shape of the ice crystal is determined by the temperature of the cloud. The amount of moisture in the cloud determines the size of the ice crystal. Likewise, the more moisture there is in the cloud, the bigger the ice crystal will be. When several ice crystals join together, they form a snowflake. As snowflakes tumble through the air, whirling and spinning, they each take a different path to the ground. As each snowflake drifts, falls, it drifts through clouds with different temperatures and moisture levels, which shapes each snowflake in a unique way. I know it doesn't snow here in Hawaii, but this is a pretty cool way to talk about snowflakes. So, it wasn't just talking about snowflakes. What was it talking about? It was talking about how snowflakes are made or formed. So I would go down here and that would be my main idea. How snowflakes are formed. It gives you some more information like that no two snowflakes are the same. Those are good, you know, just good to know. But that's not what the kind of the whole thing was about. How snowflakes are formed. So let's think about some of the details. Um, as water droplets attach themselves to ice crystals, they freeze. So water droplets plus ice crystals and they freeze. Water plus ice freeze together. They make a hexagon, that's the shape, hexagon shape. So a hexagon is six sides, that's what a hexagon looks like. And then the amount, the shape of the ice crystal is determined by the temperature of the cloud. That's cool. The shape, shape determined temperature of cloud. So they're going to fall through the sky and the different clouds have different temperatures and they shape them. So all of my details go back to how they're formed. Water and ice freeze, they become hexagon shaped and um, the shape is determined by cloud. Of course there were a few more details I could have added but I'm only asking you for three today. Next one, reindeer. I guess I have a winter theme today. Did you know that all reindeer do not just live at the North Pole? It's true, reindeer are interesting creatures. They can be found in North Asia, Europe, Siberia, Alaska, Canada, and Greenland. In North America, reindeer are called caribou. They are all nomadic species, which means they are constantly moving from place to place in large herds that may contain thousands of reindeer. They survive the cold temperatures of their habitats because their coats have two layers. A soft wool underlayer lies against its skin. Long, hollow guard hairs from the top form the top layer. These special layers help to keep them warm and dry, just like Rudolph. A reindeer's nose plays an important part in its survival. Since reindeer live in areas where food often hides under the snow, they rely on a super sense of smell to find their dinner. Reindeer also have special ho hooves to scoop and dig through the snow to to, the, to plants and food underneath. Male and female reindeer grow antlers. Each year the antlers fall off and the next year the reindeer grow even bigger antlers, which they can use to defend against predators. All right, so what was this whole thing about? Um, it was telling you about reindeer. Was it telling you about one specific thing about reindeer? No, it was telling you that reindeer are interesting creatures. I like how this um, paragraph started with a question too because it kind of hooks you in. Um, 
Some people might not have known that reindeer don't just live in the North Pole, so that's pretty cool. So let's go down here. Reindeer are interesting creatures. They sure sound like it. Reindeer are interesting creatures. Let's look at some details to prove that. So what would be some details you would choose? Um, they're nomadic species. That's a cool one, meaning they're constantly moving. Nomadic means movement. So they don't have just one place they call home. I'll put in, print, in quotes, moving. Uh, they survive in cool temperatures. Oh, they have two layers in their coat. Two layered coats of fur. Because they, they are in lots of cold areas. And then that's cool about their nose. Um, they have a super sense to smell. So their nose has a super sense. Nose, super sense. I could have also added the information about the antlers falling off each year, because that's a pretty interesting fact. So let's go back to the main idea. Do all of our details support? Is it interesting that they are constantly moving? Yes. Is it interesting that they have a two-layered coat? Yes. And is it interesting about their super sense nose? Yes. All right, it is your turn. You're going to read about tarantula uh, and figure out the main idea in three details. So I'll let you pause, zoom in. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Here's your main idea and detail chart. So, main idea, three details about tarantulas.